right so it has loaded our video file and we can easily see that we are getting a frame count of somewhere around 38 to 40 frames which is totally hello and welcome to rocket systems youtube channel in our previous video we discussed how we can use opencv to read an image file or frames from a video file now in this video we are going to understand how we can how we can so show fps on the live video frames now what is fps fps is basically frames per second and this is very important in k in in your computer vision projects because fps tells you how many frames your script is able to process in a particular second now this totally depends upon which type of hardware you are using if you have a very high end hardware it will it can be a very high fps or if you have a low hardware with the low ram and the gpu and the cpu support then it can be a low fps now in this video i'm going to show how you can uh, write a code which will display fps and then you can use this on any video file or your webcam or any rtsp camera as well so let's get started close this example and let's create a new file and name it as oops let's create a new file and name it as fps example now let's start by importing cv2 im utils and date time so import cv2 import im utils and import date time now once that is done let's um, once that is done let's read uh, let's load up our video file so cv2 dot video capture and inside this we will mention videos slash test video dot mp4 let me just quickly check if the name is correct yes name is correct now after this we will create a variable for fps start time and we will define it as date time dot date time dot now now we will also take up uh, create a variable for fps and initial value will be zero and then we will use another variable total frames equals to zero now once that is done we will define a while true loop and then we will simply read frame from our camera sorry from our video cap dot read and then we will simply resize our frame here so frame equals to imutils dot resize frame and width 800 and then we will uh, increment our total frames now once that is done we will define fps end time fps and time We will calculate the time difference which will be FPS end time minus FPS start time and then obviously if time difference dot seconds is equals to equals to zero we will keep our FPS as else we will calculate fps as total frames divided by time difference dot seconds perfect so the basic idea is that we will simply keep on incrementing the total frames counter because we then that, that way we know how many frames we have currently uh, read from the camera and then we will simply calculate fps by dividing total frames by the time difference time difference will be the frames uh, uh, fps start time minus fps end time and then uh, use that to calculate fps now we just have to show uh, this fps on our cv2 window so we will use cv2 dot put text first parameter obviously will be frame next parameter will be our fps so let's create a variable here fps text is equals to fps 
and here we will simply what we'll do because it, it's a floating point number there can be three four five six decimal point value so we will simply uh, reformat it so and then dot format fps and then we will use this fps text inside our cv to put text and then we will simply use now here we have to define our x and y coordinates so that is done and then we have to define the font so font we are going to use hershey complex small and then after this the size and the colors and thickness so let's take up any color and then we will define the thickness perfect so once that is done we just have to show our frame so we will use cv2 dot im show and here we will define the name of the window so let's just, let me just put it a name and then we will define uh, show our frame here and then again the usual stuff cv2 dot wait key q if key equals to equals to we will simply break from the loop and then once we break we will simply destroy all windows okay so everything looks perfect to me let's just quickly try to run this code and see how much fps we are getting so i'll go back and then here i will open a terminal oops okay there looks to be an error okay um let's go here and instead of this it should be one and let's rerun this perfect so it has loaded our video file and we can easily see that we are getting a frame count of somewhere around 38 to 40 frames which is totally fine and uh, it can be lower for you it can be higher for you that doesn't matter the thing matter is that it should show uh, fps value so if you are able if it's showing fps value that means your code is working perfectly fine now you may be getting a higher value but just let me know in the comments what value of fps you are getting on your jetson device and uh, i guess that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel